What if I told you I sold this blog writing automation for $10,000 and it writes a full SEO blog in under 5 minutes, fully posted on WordPress and also the images are included. And you, you can either resell this automation to your clients or use it for your own business to dominate Google rankings without lifting a finger. Well, today, everybody, I'm going to show you exactly how this automation works, why it is worth $10,000 and how you can either deploy it or sell it like I did. This is only one of the crazy automations that we are building at Small AI. Well, hey, everybody, I'm Prakash Gupta, founder of Small AI, where we build and sell powerful AI automations that save businesses time and make them money. This is the channel where we share real automations that have made real revenue. If you're a business owner, marketer, or an agency founder, you are in the right place. Also check out our Discord community where we are helping business owners by connecting them with very high quality automation builders. Or you can book a free strategy call with me if you want to get a custom automation build for your business. Now that you've done that, let's dive into the automation right now. Now to start this automation, we just have to click on test workflow and an edit and form will pop up. Here you can write a title of the blog. So currently, uh, AI generated baby podcasts have been entered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a title for it. So automations to generate automations that generate AI powered baby podcast. And as soon as I click on submit, it's going to run the entire automation where we are selecting the topic. So using the knowledge base here, we are converting this into a topic. And then we are doing the research in this research generator. That is an entire base of how we should do the research. It is only selecting of the keywords that we can search on Google. Later, we have a scraping pipeline where it goes over Google. It uses SERP API for that. And after using the SERP API, it goes over Google. It searches for articles related to this topic. After it has a lot of articles, it scrapes each one of the articles to generate the knowledge base of the blog. Now using this knowledge base, we are generating the first draft and then we are refining the entire draft using another AI agent. Then we are adding the SEO and we are adding SEO based on the previous articles that have been scraped. In, so in this manner, we verify that our articles have the trending keywords. Later on, we move to image suggestions where we are, where we have already fetched out the images array from our Google Sheets and using that image descriptions, we are adding those images into our blog we are simply formatting the entire blog. Now what this AI agent for search topic help us and do is it helps us in generate external links. So using the search topic, we are doing another Google search, we're collecting external links that we can link to our blogs. So in this manner, our blog will be highly visible. So after it has added the links, we are validating the knowledge base. And what it means is it is checking if the entire blog aligns with our knowledge base of the business. So basically I have created a Google doc where I've added the entire details of my business. It is a good five page document. Now, as soon as I'm entering the form, I have also added this node where we are fetching out the entire knowledge base. Now we can use this knowledge base in the entire automation without any hassle. Now, as soon as we have done the knowledge base validation, we are adding meta information that will be used in WordPress posting. We are adding some click to actions and Finally, we are also adding FAQs into the blog. So we have entire set of external links, blog content, images, CTAs, um, meta info, as well as FAQs in the entire blog. Next, what we have to do is we have to make sure that the WordPress posting is fine. So I've added a few code blocks where we are finally formatting the entire blog for WordPress accommodation. Later in the end part, I'm simply posting it on WordPress setting up the featured image and finally adding the entire blog into our Google Sheets as well. Now, if I jump over to my blogging site, you can see that we have this blog that has been generated and we have this amazing title which says service AI automations and baby podcast. It also has table of contents. It has CTAs. We have defining the entire automation here. We have how we can integrate AI into podcast. So we are also adding the images here. We are adding external links. If I click on this, it will take me to another link here. Now we have some CTAs for your own business. We have some other blog content. We have another external links, new images, and uh, then we have the FAQ section. And in the end, we are also adding a why choose us section. And also finally to 
to end things with a good note we are adding our google map location so in this way we are able to rank the entire blog in a very good seo manner now before we dive deeper let me quickly walk you through what you will need to build this automation yourself or at least understand the stack behind it now here's a checklist you need to get OpenAI API. This will be used to generate the blogs and it will be used as an image analysis tool as well. Next, we will need a SERP API. What SERP API is, if I quickly show you, SERP API is able to replicate Google search. So basically, if you want to search on Google, but using an API, it will SERP API will come in handy. So using this, we will be generating the trending articles that are already in your domain. Great. Next we need is WordPress API or your own CMS API. So if you're using any CMS, make sure you get the API from your CMS. Next to make this entire automation, we need Anaton. So you can see this entire automation that has been created. It is on Anaton. And to create an account on Anaton, you can go to the description of this video where you will find an Anaton link. This, will, this link will help you create an Anaton account and also set it up. Now, next up in the list is Google Drive API and Google Sheets API. Now, to get those API, you'll have to go to Google Cloud Console. I'll link everything in the description. And when you go to the Google Cloud Console, you can get these APIs. It will give you client ID and client secret, which can then be linked to your Anaton account. Now, all of these are easy to set up and I've dropped links below. So you can get started with exact tools I use. Use my links if you want to get a shortcut to test it steps. And pause. join the Discord community if you face any issue and me and my team will be ready to help you at any moment. Now it's time for the whiteboard therapy to understand the entire logic behind our AI automation. Now what happens is, in the edit and form, you're entering the details of the blog that you want to create. Now, using your knowledge base and using the details that you've entered, it will create a topic for the blog. And after this topic has been created, it will do a Google search based on the topic, which will help us get the top listed articles on Google. Of course, they are already SEO optimized. Then we are scraping those articles to create a knowledge base for the blog now. And using the knowledge base, we are creating blog content. Now, of course, this entire blog content has a lot of pieces, but we'll be talking about that into the next part. After we have created the blog content, we are adding internal as well as external links so that we can increase the rating of SEO. Next stop, we are adding images. Now, and these images are being added through another automation that analyzes each images from your drive pool and gives them a very detailed description of images. Now, if I show you an example, you can see that in, in this, we have each and every image and we are giving out a description, the WordPress uploaded link and the alt tag of that image as well. And the entire description, entire analysis is being done through this automation. Of course, we'll be talking about this automation as well in just a few minutes. Coming back to the whiteboard, we have added images. Now it's time to add CTAs, FAQs, Google Maps, a lot of things that we are adding just to improve our rating. Last stop, we are formatting the entire blog and posting that on WordPress. So we are using WordPress API to post the blog on WordPress. And after I've posted the blog, it will look something like this, where we have the topic of the blog, the table of contents, the entire blog, CTAs, external links, images, the maps, and everything like that is present into this entire blog. Even after we've posted this on WordPress, we are still maintaining a record on our Google Sheet. So in, the, in this Google Sheet, you can see that we are storing blogs, service, city, title, slug, meta description, CTAs, things like that into our Google Sheet. And in the next part of this video, I'm going to show you exactly how this entire automation is working because there are a lot of things that are happening. All right, now it's time to go deeper and we're going to go deeper by using our Anaton workflows. So just to give you context, we have two workflows. This workflow is simply creating the blog. And then we have another workflow that is being used to analyze and add these images into the blog. So you can see that in this automation, what you're doing is we are fetching each and every file from Google Drive. We're selecting if that file has been analyzed before or not. If it has, then we're leaving it. And if this is a new file, then we are analyzing this using this AI agent and also uploading the image on the WordPress. Now, after it has analyzed these images, it will store everything into the Google Sheet. Now you can see that we have the file name of the image. We have the ID of the image. We have the detailed description of the image that J chat GPT-40 is doing. Then we have the URL, a public URL based on the WordPress link. And then we have the alt text of the image as well. Now this information from this sheet is being used into the main workflow where we have added a module of Google Sheets, which fetches out the images details. So I've added this Google Sheet module where you can see that we have each and every, we have the name of the image, we have the description of the image, 
url all tag wordpress id everything like that is present into this node here all right so this automation has done its part where it we are analyzing and adding all these images now let's move on to the main workflow the master blog writer in this flow we have divided this into a few parts first is topic selector then we have research generator and then we have scraping pipeline and fourth part is blog drafter fifth part is generating external links sixth part is adding call to actions and seventh part is preprocessor for wordpress and the last part is posting it on wordpress now if i go over each and every node what's going to happen is we have this topic selector agent where we are adding this google edit and form in this edit and form i'm simply adding what thoughts i have about the blog now this will take up take in the thoughts it will use the knowledge base and create a topic of the blog so you can see that we have blog topic right here which says harnessing the power of ai automations for austin's viral baby podcast great so now using this blog topic we are, uh, we are doing a google search now in this google search you can see that we have done a serp api request where we are doing the google search we are getting all the listed articles here and later on we are running a loop where we are scraping each and every article so you can see that we have run this loop loop here we are doing each and every article research aggregating them into a single json object and then pushing this into our ai agents now this set of ai agents is doing the blog drafting it does the first draft and you can see in the blog and you can see in the prompt what we are doing is we are giving out a very detailed prompt which says you are a professional blog editor reviewing the content of the business now using this we are creating the first draft later on we are moving this into a refined draft so again we have another set of ai agent which, which has a slightly different prompt and updates the article which is more human next we are adding some seo based keywords using this ai agent and then we are adding the images solution right here next stop what we are doing is we are adding generate search topic so we have this search topic which helps us in add, adding the external links so next part here is generate external links now if i go over to the external generate search topic you can see that we have some queries queries like ai tools for improving podcast quality transcription tools ai in podcast and what it does is it will give you a list of topics that then you can use to search on serp api which will help you get some external links now using this what we are doing is we have running a loop we are getting all the external links adding those links into the blog validating the entire blog and using a knowledge base so we are simply adding the blog content and the reference document and we are saying that this is your job you are a specialized blog content editor whose job is to improve and fix blog content so it fixes the minor changes and make sure that the entire blog is aligned to my knowledge base next stop we are adding this meta information what's happening here is we are adding the meta information that will be used in wordpress posting so we are adding title we are adding slug meta description cta phrase and things like that later we are using a cta flow that is adding click to actions so if i show you the blog you can see that we have a few cta's for your business now of course this cta is for an ad so we have added the cta we have added the phone number here as well now our last stop is adding faq so in the last part of the blog you can see that we have added this section in this section there is the faq part where we have added some frequently asked questions and also answered those questions here as well great now we are done with most of the automation last part comes here is pre-process of our wordpress now we are adding some h1 tags we are making sure that the entire blog automation is pre-formatted so that when we post on wordpress it has the correct formatting so you can see that faq is a different heading question is a different heading external links look like this so all these formatting is being done on this pre-processor agent last stop is adding the wordpress blog here where i've added my wordpress account i've added the details and i'm simply posting it on wordpress i'm adding the featured image as well and lastly i'm adding this into the google sheet now this entire blog automation is able to generate blogs according to my liking in under five minutes if you want this entire blog automation go to the description of this video you will find a gumroad link where you can download the entire json and upload it to your editance workspace if you have any other doubts feel free to join the discord community where we will help you out with each and every step all right great so the blog automation is done and what is the result a fully automated on-brand seo optimized blog which is researched written designed and even published and this is a game changer for solopreneurs agencies content creators and many businesses like yours that can help you create blogs 
automatically each and every single day. You don't have to hire a blog editor anymore. This entire blog automation will do the entire job automatically. When you tell a client that I will give you 30 blogs per month with images, with live links, fully automated, they listen. So here is what you can do next. You can set up this entire automation by going into the link in the description, which will give you the entire JSON of the workflow. You can join the Discord community that can help you out in setting up the entire automation. You can book a free strategy call with me where if you want to get any customization for this workflow if or if you have any other workflow in mind. We, we work with blog writers, we work with voice agents, we work with lead generation. We work with entire CRM automation and we have a lot of automations that are coming along on this YouTube channel. So subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. You can also partner with us if you run an agency and want to resell the system to your clients. And let's start working together. If you got value from this video, drop a like and also hit the subscribe button. And let me know in the comments what type of automations are you looking for in the next video. Now I am Prakash Gupta from Small AI and I'll see you in the next one.